Ah, I've just hired a Subaru and I am ready to drive to San Diego. Today I am filming with Pat Flynn at his offices in WeWork. So let's get in and get going. Halfway between LA and San Diego and I found this beautiful viewpoint by the side of the highway, Highway 5. I'm gonna be in Pat Flynn's office in San Diego really soon. I've just made it to San Diego and on that whole drive, the audio was terrible. I really need to sort out this sound. Okay, it's happening. I'm literally standing outside the office and studio of one of the biggest podcasters in the world. Pat Flynn, that's where he is, right in there. I'm gonna go inside. We work University City, San Diego, California, and see exactly what his setup looks like. This is a podcast studio, and this is Pat Flynn. Hey, how's it going, everybody? <laughs> this is Pat Flynn's storage room. What's up? This is a mess, just so you know. Whoa. Yeah, so there's a lot of equipment here, and there's stuff from FlynnCon, my event. I mean, there's even some yellow tech gear that we have yet to set up, which I'm really excited about. Really want to set it up but I have to learn how to like weld. There's just way too much stuff in here. So this PC, it's PC because there's a lot of live streaming software that is PC required, uh, not Mac, unfortunately, for the higher level stuff. So we built it and it didn't work. So I actually had to find somebody who knew what they were doing because it had been like 25 years since I built my first computer and going back into PC was a little bit more difficult than I thought it would be. It took nine years to get 100,000 subscribers, and then it took only nine months to get the next 100,000 subscribers. So things really start to speed up after you get going. And it was only after being consistent on YouTube did that actually start happening. This desk, uh, I will often sit here when I'm recording online courses, and Caleb comes in, he sets up a camera over there with a little bit better sort of quality, and this is where I provide training. We have a couple Heil, PR40 microphones connected here. And eventually we wanna to get to the point where we have a three camera setup. One wide angle view, which is the view you're at right now. One camera over there facing me, close up. One camera over here facing our guest, close up. And that way we have three camera angles and we can actually switch between the different screens. How might we do that? We could either have somebody in the studio pressing some buttons, or you can use this here, which is from Roland. This is quite new, this is a VR1 HD. And this thing is amazing because it can auto change the camera depending on who is speaking. These are Automute soundproofing panels. They absorb a lot of the echo that's in the room. I mean, this was like an echo chamber before we got in here. And two things really helped. Number one, the carpet that you see below. It's kind of a shag carpet. We also did a video on that versus regular carpet versus just concrete, which uh, it was before we moved in. And it sounded like a church now it sounds much better. Pat Flynn has a Rodecaster Pro. It's Woo. something that everyone's talking about. We have a lot of different setups in the studio, so we can use like channel one for my desk, channel two and three for here in the interview studio, channel four for this uh, boom arm if we want for recording something else. So we don't have to like keep switching things out. So I like it for that reason. I also like it because we can even include audio directly from the computer into the podcast itself. And even when I'm doing live streaming or even my, my office hours calls, I can play sound effects and other things like that. When like somebody shares a win on their office hours, like, hey, good job. <laughs> uh, and we just have like the Ask Pat intro produced by musicradiocreative.com. That's always nice because then we don't need to even add it in, in post. We can just do it right while we're recording. So I love this thing. It's great. I have to remember though, to turn the Bluetooth off and down because sometimes my phone will go off and then it'll insert itself into the podcast and we don't want that happening, that's for sure. So I've been vlogging with the Switch Pod uh, and it's absolutely fantastic. Um, I'm just wondering actually, Pat, can you um, can you put a microphone on it? So this is a mic on a Switch Pod because you know this is better than holding it like this. I yeah, mean, why would you do that? You wouldn't do that. I <laughs> hope you don't do that. Please don't do that. Um, but I mean, a lot of people are putting lights on it and other things that are helpful. So I guess in a sense, if you wanted to sort of like turn this into a, a there's really no reason to do that. But. You could actually mount it on the table. That's a great idea. I mean, I guess so. <laughs> this is an OMG moment. I'm just about to head out for sushi tonight in Pat Flynn's Tesla. O-M-G. I'm sorry, it's a little dirty. It's we awesome. just came from LA. Three, two, one. Whoa! That's the 
Tesla smile, they call it. Sushi, sushi, sushi. I could eat the whole menu. Any recommendation? There is a sushi here. I noticed it's, uh, it's titled Magic Mike, so maybe... I have to have that. I have to have that. Is that cool? Don't look it up on Google. What an awesome day it's been, filming with Pat Flynn and nerding out about audio gear in his studio here in San Diego. This is Vlogtober, day 21.